Okay, good evening, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to Let Your String Strengths Lead You. I think that is the title of our topic tonight. And um, we are here, Niklas Folkeson and myself, and we are really excited to introduce you to this new perspective and explore together with you um, life for orientation or life orientations. Hi, Niklas. <laughs> Hello, Vladimir. Thank you for inviting me in this uh, fantastic uh... Uh, 30 minutes this dialogue and uh, discussion about life or this marvelous uh, tool to understand each other and myself better um i really love this tool uh, and i think uh, vladi you too too <laughs> yes i'm actually uh in love with it the more that i explore it the more um um deeper and profound i find it as a contribution to my life and actually in the very area of my life where I'm using it uh, not only for inter communication skills or productivity but uh, also for my personal relationships and uh, financing and everything basically yes yeah I, I totally uh, agree with you because uh, understanding myself regarding the, these different kind of behavior styles is actually a crucial thing in achieving the goals that uh, that I want in my life. And uh, of course, there are some times uh, when we use our strength too much. And, and that is also very important to understand what, what am I doing and how do I do it and why do I do it? And uh, uh, regarding to this tool, you get no more knowledge about that different kind of behavior styles. But Vladislav, could, could you explain a little bit more about uh, the different kind of uh, the behavior styles that we are talking about? Okay, so um, um, LIFO orientation is actually, um, I, let me just explain for maybe uh, there are a lot of new people here that doesn't know anything about it. So it is a method and it helps you as an individual uh, to actually become aware of your preferred behavior or or the behavior that you do not prefer so that you can improve your communication skills and become more productive and also have a result that you desire. But this is also a huge contribution to you if you work in a team or in an organization. So um, when you are able to when you become more effective and you get the results that you would like to have, you will be actually able to face all the challenges and everything that is going on without being the effect of it. This is how I see it. So LIFO talks actually of four basic styles. Uh, we speak about supporting giving, controlling taking, conserving holding, and adapting dealing. And we are a mix of all of those styles. We are actually all of them, but we have a um, preferred style. And when uh, we in favorable situations and maybe one in unfavorable. And uh, um, what LIFO has developed, they have actually developed uh, strategies so that you can uh, um, use those strategies to get a better res results. So, mm. yeah, this is how I would like to introduce you, introduce it, Nikla. So, yeah, would you like to talk about the strategies? Of life yeah absolutely uh, the thing is when when you have do, done this life of survey you get a result of yourself and your behavior styles and uh, all of that is because that you have take action in 18 different kind of uh, uh, questions that you have, need to answer and uh, the the way to handle that is also to make sure that those six strategies to actually to uh, to actually to uh, make 
what do you call what what do you call it uh, to make you to understand yourself better and uh, see if um, and if you understand yourself during those uh, behavior styles you can also change and be flexible in handling handling other people and handling yourself and i think actually this um, instrument is so uh, spot on that you actually you can if you compare our our uh, uh, behavior styles you and me Vlad is here yes. we can see the the changes um, how we can use our behaviors better together than uh, than our for our own perspective for example I I am quite a lot of uh, of adapting not adapted dealer but I I'm quite a lot of uh, conservative holding yeah mm -hmm. and uh, and I'm more focused on per, uh, result and you are the combination of result and and adapt, adapting dealing yes which means that if we don't talk it to each other in that perspective that we don't that we can see the strength in our behavior style then we can achieve more together than for our own sake don't you agree about that absolutely absolutely and uh, yeah this is what we call diversity right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and by using this tool in teams uh, with the companies organization uh, you get another dimension you bet get better communication in the team uh, because many of the time when when I work with team and I know that you Vlad is I have been uh, been working with the team yeah yes. just for a moment ago yes. you can see the result direct after two three hours you can see the understanding the communication between each other and achieving better results together and make action on what you can see in in this life don't you agree about that but yes, to... it was so. I, I mean, the team that I that I was facilitating, uh, I think it was a month ago. It was so amazing to watch them. It was like a relief, you know. Uh, their bodies relaxed, and there was more joy and more uh, uh, understanding for each other when they realized that wow, uh, we. This person is behaving like that because of, and uh, they understood if somebody was really like, if we take a person who is very action oriented, that person will all the time ask more questions, go to the next project or desire a lot of a result. But as this group that I have facilitated, the majority of them was supporting giving. And if you have a team of people that are supporting giving, all of them wants actually excellence and all of them wants to help each other, which means that they are not willing to go into action immediately immediately and this can uh, this can become a, a barrier in between them if they don't understand each other but in this case when they got the presentation and when they uh, became aware of each other's uh, behavior everything changed for them yeah and that's the that's the main thing to understand of each other that we are not one thing or, or another we are everything the thing, what's happening when uh, when you overuse your strengths, then you, then we can also get um, in the other perspective when it's an unfavorable situation, and to understand that or uh, of each other's results is also very important to to teams how to work to together when we are in a situation which is not so favorable. It's unfavorable. Exactly. And and can you give, can you give an example? For example, let's say that we have a behavior that is very much supporting giving. What is happening when they are um, too much? When they are too much. Yeah, exactly. When they're tipping over. <laughs> so, for example, if you have a supporting giving team, maybe you support too too much, so you take over you the protective, the yeah. task to overprotective. Yeah. And for example, if you are too much of the control and taking, you will be too much dominant and and drive over people if you if you have that perspective. So to understand that from to uh, of each other in the team and of 
of myself, then uh, of course you can have the ability to actually change your behavior if you have knowledge about what your how you behave in different kind of situation. Uh, for example, when we, you and me, Vladisa, were uh, meeting each other, sometimes you you feel that it go too too slowly. Yes. <laughs> 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 exactly. Uh, uh, I'm like, come on, let's do this now. And Niklas is trying to explain and uh, is like, yeah, but we have to take this step and this step and this step to reach this target. Yeah. Exactly. And maybe I to uh, I am analyzing too much. <laughs> so uh, yeah. so we need each other's strength to actually to achieve those goals that we have in different kind of uh, action and task. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so beautifully put from your side. We need each other strength. And this is what we have to become more and more aware of, that nothing is wrong with people around exactly. us. They are just different. They are not better. They are not worse. They are just different. And if we understand this, then this interaction can be so dynamic and we can have so much more fun together and actually have better results in everything that we choose. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And think if many people people uh, in different kind of organization or friendship understand uh, your yourself or myself even better and talk about how we can be have even deeper friendship or a better work result and uh, that is actually what life would do for you um, and that is kind of interesting to see that perspective and always always you need to work on your flexibility to understand other people of course uh, combined with yourself yes and if you actually highlight this in a team or you get this uh, result from a survey which means that no one is judging you this is uh, um, you got your questions you put your answers and here you go here is your behavior then it is actually much easier to lower your barriers and to be a little bit more vulnerable and appreciate the openness and the interaction that you have with another person. Because I'm sure that many of you here recognize this, that you have how many of your strengths that you possess are you actually using against you? Just think about it for a moment. How many times have you found yourself applying maybe excessive force, exhausting your resources only but to, to find out that you are not getting anywhere? And, and how many strengths do you actually have that you are not aware of but are just waiting there to be used to be tapped into and that is what we actually call untapped potential this is what you have and you could actually have a much better life if you become aware of this and allow all those strengths to shine so that you can be the totality of you of everything that you are yeah and I think it's so easy to do this survey and it takes quite a few, few time, a few minutes to understand how you you are uh, in the way of the behavior perspective in this instrument. And uh, if you want to go even deeper to understand yourself, you can do that because uh, the instrument give you quite a lot of uh, uh, perspective regarding questions to yourself and question to be more effective. I will, I will call it effective. Yes, uh, And make result. And it doesn't matter which behavior style you have, you can reach out even more uh, effectively if you understand your perspective in your behavior style. And that is what life will give you. And I think that is really great. So I think so too. And really, if you are really <laughs> ready, to break free because this is for me it was a breakthrough when I when I did it my first time a couple of years ago uh, but I, it actually took me two years before I started <laughs> actively to be yeah. that 
it was tough <laughs> yeah, job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So really, if you're ready to break free, if you're ready to um, find out what is holding back your creative power, really join us. We are we are inviting you to join us for um, for an online class that will um, start April the eighth. And just go to my website, vladitsajorjevic.com, and you have actually a description of a class. And before the class, you will be able to take this survey and discover, actually, yourself. Discover uh, yourself and your behavior, how you actually create habits in your behavior and this is what stops you from achieving basically everything that you desire. That's perfect. Yeah. And I, I invite you all to do this. It's uh, really, really nice to get more knowledge about yourself and your behavior. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And uh, we will take also the opportunity to wish you all happy Easter and um, take care, take care of your body, take care of um, your loved ones, and uh, hope to see you soon with us in our class, April the 8th. Bye, everyone. Yes. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.